Hi guys, welcome back to Tarot Makes Up. Today I have a gorgeous model and her name is Charlie. I used to babysit her when she was about four years old, so it's lovely having her here as a grown woman. Um, and it's lovely to catch up with her as I've not seen her for a very long time. She's been away traveling. And the look I'm gonna create for you today is Emma Stone, which is just a really beautiful classic lip and a little bit of an eye to go with it, but it's a nice way to show you how to wear kind of like a moderately natural smoky eye with a lip. So I hope you guys enjoy the look. So the first thing I've used on Charlie's skin is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. I really like this one, it's one I go back to time and time again as it still lets her lovely freckles show through as well. And I've used a little bit of the Estee Lauder, this one is the Double Wear Concealer and this is in Extra Light, so a little bit of that just around the nose so we can get straight into the makeup look. So first thing I'm going to use is the Burberry Effortless Brow uh, Definer and this one, I think this shade is called malt brown which is really nice especially if you have more kind of brownie tone red hair so i'm going to use this just to give a little bit of shape i'm not going to add too much more thickness but just to give a little tidy i turn you that way a little bit for me shall we? that's it so i'm just going to brush the brows up first and then it's got kind of a really nice little slant on it just to give a little bit more definition just where the arch is and i'm going more on the top arch don't really want to add any more on the inside. And I'm just pulling the brows out a little bit more in the outer corner just to give a little bit more elongation to the eye. Right, so the next thing I'm gonna use on Charlie is the one of the H&M, this is their cream shadows, and I've been really enjoying using these actually. Um, the color mm. I'm gonna use is Sirocco. Um, it's kind of like a sort of multi-brown, but it looks really nice with um, a little bit more of a statement lip without overpowering I'm it. I'm gonna start with a Zoeva Soft Definer, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on the brush first. I'm gonna take that from right near the bottom of the lash line and I'm just gonna work it up. So up to about where the eye socket is, and then I'm just gonna leave some room to blend that out. And with a thicker brush, a bit more fluffy, nice blending brush, just buffing that out again. So there's no harsh edges. I'm gonna take a dome brush and take a little bit of that cream shadow um, under the bottom lash line as well. So if you just look up for me, Charlie. Just quite softly and blend it out again. But just so there's a bit of definition that kind of mixes with the top to join to the top shadow and just buff that out as well. And this is one of those colors as well that really makes the blue in your eyes pop. So it really makes them look nice and bright to pop. <laughs> Me and Charlie are laughing because I used to babysit Charlie. <laughs> so I've actually known you since you were what, four? Yeah, really. That's quite cool. crazy really, isn't it? Hi, it was my inspiration at school. <laughs> my role model. And she's just been traveling, so she's got all these amazing stories she's come back with. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just using the product just to build up a little bit more pigment just near the base of the roots of the lashes. So I'm just using that bigger brush just to layer a little bit more shadow. And again, you can always just take your softer brush and just buff out as well to keep sure, just to make sure there's no harsh edges. So next product I'm gonna use is one of the NYX products. Um, I had quite a few of these products in my favorites videos, so it's really exciting to use it in a video. This is called the Wonder Pencil, and this is light, so it's the lightest one, but it does come in three shades, so I really like the fact you can make this, it's not too stark, depending on your skin tone. So if you look right up for me, Charlie, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this, just to make the eyes look really nice and bright, and I'm just taking this on the lower lash line. A little tiggly bit. <laughs> so next I'm gonna really layer up the lashes with a bit of Bobbi Brown Smoky Mascara. And this is a really nice one for top and bottom. So if you look up for me, Charlie. So I'm gonna make sure I put a good amount top and bottom because I wanted to use an eyeshadow that gives kind of impact to the eye without being too statement and taking over from the lip. So I'm gonna use the mascara effectively to make the lash a little bit more smoky. So I'm just going over a few coats at a time. So I'm just going to give Charlie's lashes a really nice curl, which is going to make the lashes look much longer and thicker anyway, especially with a good two coats of mascara. Isn't it that way done? I'm just taking a bit of gingerbread. This is one of the new eyeshadows by H&M as well. Really, really impressed with this. It's a matte shade, but it's really nice. If I just turn you that way, Charlie, and look down, it's really nice just for adding a little subtle definition into kind of the contours of the eye. So just a little bit on kind of the outer V is really, really nice and it just gives that little bit extra shape and definition. I'm just gonna coat really well all the top lashes, and the important bit is to really wiggle it into the root. So as long as you've got a lot of emphasis on the roots of the lashes, you're gonna have a really nice black lash. So I'm just using um, a MAC mascara wand brush, which you guys know I love. Really good trick if you have more blonder lashes or lashes that are quite light, 
is you can make sure you get the black all the way to the roots and really build the volume of the roots. And it'll just give you a much thicker lash look. So I might add a tiny bit more concealer towards the end when I finish, but I now want to move on to the lips, which is more of the statement part. And for the lips, I was trying to think of kind of a nice Emma Stone colour. I think you could go berry if you wanted to. I'm going to go with Corella, which is a really nice red from uh, NARS. It's quite matte in finish, but still comfortable to wear. And I find this one suits most people. So it's a really good trusty red. So I'm just going to make sure all the lip balm is off of Charlie's lips because I popped a little bit of eight hour cream on first just to prep. And then I'm just going to start in the middle of the lips first. And this also will really make her blue eyes pop. And I just like to start getting most of the colour on first. So I wouldn't worry about your shape to start with. Just get as much pigment on as you can. And then I'm going to ask you to blot your lips, Charlie, really firmly. So it starts to move the colour. And then you can naturally see where you need to fill it in anyway. And then go back to using the crayon like a pencil. And then I'm going to start where the cupid's bow is. And I'm just going to start to thicken up and add the shape where I want it. So you can always use a lip brush as well off of the crayon if that's easier. But I do find with these you can get a really nice shape. And just make sure it joins up as well. There's nothing worse than when your lips are open and you've kind of got those two gaps either side. So then just to finish under the eyes and make sure everything is looking super bright, I'm going to take a little bit of the Double Wear Liquid Concealer. This is a Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer by Estee Lauder. And I'm using this in one of the lighter shades just to pop a little bit under and I'm going to use it to kind of highlight as well. So I'm just doing a few dots either side. So if you turn that way for me, Charlie, that way, and then head down a little bit. That's it. And I'm just going to use this just to give like a natural highlight with concealer rather than kind of adding any shimmer. Just doing this to give a little bit more shape under the eye. And I'm just using a Real technique setting brush just to make sure that's all really nicely buffed. And I'm just going to give a little powder to the skin. I'm going to use some of the Bobbi Brown. This is their retouching powder, um, which is in the shade white, but I think it's much more of an invisible type powder. So it's a nice one if you're not sure about getting the right tone um, powder for your skin. So I'm going to use a Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush. I'm just going to use that to set just around any areas, mostly around the inside of the face. And just the T-zone a little bit. So the final product I'm going to use on Charlie is, this was the blusher that I was talking about in my October favourites, which is the H&M Pure Radiance Powder Blusher in Cameo Pink, which I just think is the perfect blush if you're unsure what to use, especially if you've got a lot going on with a lip or an eye, as it's kind of like a nothingy colour, but it still gives a little bit of subtle definition and shape. So I'm just using this on the cheeks. Turn that way for me, Charlie. And again, it doesn't take away from Charlie's beautiful freckles, it doesn't take away from the skin but it's just a really complimentary blusher, especially with red lip, it's really nice. I'm just using small amounts of this on the same sheer powder brush by Bobbi Brown. And then I'm just using a brush with nothing on, just to make sure everything's really seamlessly blended. And that's the finished look, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed that. Thank you, Charlie, for modeling for me. Thank you. <laughs> I've already been thinking of all the other makeup looks I want to do on her, like <laughs> 60s looks. So there's going to be quite, you might be, your face might be in quite a few videos yeah, now. That's fine. <laughs> I'm happy to do that. So I hope you guys enjoy that look. Make sure you check out the new site, harrowmakesup.com, and make sure you subscribe as well to see all the videos first. And I'll see you soon for videos, guys. Thanks very much. Bye.